What's up YouTube, Warriors Learner here, and you're watching The Warrior Show. Glad to have you here, hope you enjoy. Today will be the first installment of our brand new video series, 3D Printing. So what exactly are we gonna do on this show? Well first, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna make, then we're gonna go head over to the computer, make it, and then we're gonna come here, back to the good old CR10, and print it out. Before we continue with this video, I just wanna give a special shout out to our sponsor, Ziltech. Ziltec has been providing me with several rolls of 3D printing filament and I highly recommend them. Their winding is great, their precision is great, and their colors are amazing, as you'll see later on in the video as we start printing something. If you check the description box below, you'll see my link as well as my promo code WarriorZoino! Exclamation point, where you'll get 15% off the entire Ziltec store. Alright, now we can get started talking about what we're going to be printing in today's video. A few days ago, my mom had told me that she wanted some bird feeders and where we can buy some. And I thought to myself, hmm, I definitely could design one and print one myself. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We have filament, we have our printer, and I have a design that I drew of myself on SketchUp that will be linked in the description box below. It'll take you to Thingiverse where you can download the files and print them yourself. The colors of filament that we're going to be using today is Ziltex Bronze, and I think this color looks absolutely great. I love the way it like shimmers in the light. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You'll see it up close as we move along with this project. And as well as just regular white. And this is gonna be used for the body and this will be used for the roof. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and see what I've designed. So here we have the body of the bird feeder and it's just a regular regular looking bird feeder. And I gave it, let's see, 10 millimeters of space for you to put food. So according to our handy dandy calipers here, we have right about, if I can get a little bit of accurate, here we go. So right about that much of space for the bird food, seeds, whatever kind of food that you want to put out there for whatever species of birds you're trying to get to eat that's what we have so that's the body of the bird feeder nice little decorative looking thing and here is the roof that just sits on top and we have a piece right here where we can just tie a string and hang it so that'll be nice and at the bottom we have a groove where the hopefully the body of the bird feeder can just slide in and we can put some glue slide it in and it'll be good Alrighty, so that's the design that we're going with. So let's go ahead and head back to the printer, put on our filament and get started. We're back at the 3D printer and I've gone ahead and loaded the file on the CR10. And we're going to be printing the body portion of the bird feeder as we just took a look at on our computer. And we're gonna be printing it in white as you can see right here. So without any further ado, let's get started. We're back and the print is just finished right about 18 hours later. So very long print and probably one of the longest I've done, but I'm very pleased to see that there were no tangles in the roll and how well the print actually came out. So now we can just remove it from the build plate and go ahead and start removing all the support material that you see in the middle of these windows. Perfect. Please, 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 please,
doesn't it? But it's looking pretty good. All right, so I finished cleaning up the bird feeder body. I just had to go in with a Dremel and just clean up each one of these little arcs or arches here. And it was very simple. The support material came out great. Not only did it come out great, it came out great. So <laughs> that, that was uh, definitely something good. You don't want to spend too much time on cleanup. Uh, it looks great. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's, it's strong where it needs to be. I added support, so it would be. And the filament looks perfect. It's, there's no imperfections as far as I can tell. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So we can set that off to the side for now. I've gone ahead and taken the time to load up the bronze filament, which is gonna be used for the roof portion of this bird feeder. I thought it'd be a nice contrast between the white and the dark, a darker color. Uh, so that's already fed through the extruder, ready to go. The bed is heating up right now. I have the file for the roof loaded up on the CR-10, ready to go. And as soon as that gets up to temperature, we'll start the print. It's gonna take around seven hours, I think. But again, I print at 80% speed. So we can expect probably around 10 hours. So see you then. go wow this looks this looks awesome this bronze color is absolutely it just looks just looks like metal it's incredible all right so we have some support material that we have to remove on the inside here so we can fit it on but that's really how it's going to be looking and i really like the way it looks it looks fantastic all right let's clean out that support material <laughs> it so we have all our support material out we now have a clean groove for a bird feeder to fit in all right. we are all in stuck and ready to go so I'll just get you a few close-ups of the bird feeder if you liked what I've done in this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below as well as hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you know the next time that I upload another 3D printing video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There's nothing really left to do but test out the bird feeder.